Um, Dan didn't know he was going to play at all until about an hour and a half ago, so we're very lucky to have him here. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, next, before we get the concert part started, I would like to present to the stage Ms. Samantha Fulmer with a visit from St. Nick. When all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The, the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, the miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rap rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, come out to the sky. So up to the housetop, his coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and crying of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and said, a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving the nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave him a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> 